Hi, welcome to this video blog. This video blog is called Peter Drucker's Secret. Well, you probably know about Peter Drucker, uh, one of the world's great management thinkers. His influence has uh, been indelible on so many organizations, so many leaders, so many people. Peter Drucker used to talk about um, something he'd say to his clients. After he'd be consulting on site with them, he'd talk to the CEO or he'd talk to the management team, and the management team would say, Peter, your ideas were fantastic. And he always said the same thing in reply. He said, please don't tell me what you learned from me. Please don't tell me how fun it was when I was on site. Tell me what you're going to do on Monday morning with the ideas that I shared with you. So Peter Drucker's secret in many ways was really this. Not only are ideas important, even more important is what you will do with great ideas. If you look at some of the best companies out there, whether it's an Amazon, whether it's a FedEx, whether it's a Zappos, uh, the online shoe retailer that was just picked up by Amazon, all of those companies have one thing in common. Apple, another thing, another great company on this point. They have speed of execution. So ideas are great, innovations are great, but you know, even more importantly is what are you going to do with the great ideas? I think about the, the venture capitalist I once heard say, uh, I think I read about this actually, just to be precise. Um, and, and the venture capitalist said when an entrepreneur comes to him uh, with a non-disclosure agreement, in other words, well, I'll share my business plan with you if you sign off on this non-disclosure agreement saying that you'll never tell anyone else about it. The venture capitalist never gives money to that entrepreneur. Why? Because he felt that if you are so in love with your business model, if you are so in love with the idea, you might forget that execution is even more important. Because ultimately, what wins in this world right now are not just great ideas, it's execution. I mean, how many times have you had a brilliant idea and for whatever reason you didn't execute on it and then someone else executed on it and they got to world class? So it's the execution that in many ways determines who wins and who resigns themselves to mediocrity. So what I want you to do in this video blog is really this. Dive deep in two areas in your business life. Where might you be slow in execution? What are your resistances? What are your stucks? In other words, what are those opportunities in your business life where if you executed flawlessly on the opportunity, you would get your career to a whole new level of excellence? And number two, Let's dive deep in, let's dive into your personal life. What are those areas or those resistances or those messes where you've just been avoiding execution? But if you did execute and move to seize the opportunities in those areas, maybe it's to forgive someone, maybe it's your health, maybe it's spending more quiet time for yourself so when you walk out in the world you're more focused and more deliberate. What are those resistances that you've been avoiding executing around that if you embraced them and moved quickly in them, you would get to your next level of world class? But remember the Drucker question. It's not about the ideas. It's what will you do Monday morning? In other words, what will you do right now? to execute, to get to your next level of true world class. It's so important to remember that. Someone once said, uh, the, Chinese, the Chinese philosophy, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time, today. Thanks a lot.